This was my very, very first um, cycle bar class. And as y'all saw, my homegirl, Net came with me. And um, it was really good. I used class pass just like I used last week when I went to the Pilates class. I'm telling y'all, that app is so freaking clutch. Like, whoever discovered that app is amazing. Class pass is an app where you can register, pay only one monthly subscription fee, but be able to sign up for as many classes as you want. If you are tired of just going to the gym, just doing your regular one, two, and you want to add like a couple times a week, like do something really, really fun. Last week I did Pilates. Today I did the cycle bar class. It was super good. Um, you don't have to sign up at that physical location. You can just sign up for class pass and go there if you want to don't go there if you want to you also can um what is it register for like hair and nail appointments because they have beauty they have wellness as well as fitness so if you want to go um I think it was like cryotherapy I saw that they had on there a place that does cryotherapy um facials uh nails like it's a whole bunch of stuff so make sure that y'all click the link in my bio and sign up 
for class pass i'm telling you y'all are not going to regret it my friends are already looking at it already signed up already doing the things okay but yeah the class was super good body is snatched first of all i was gonna do a haul and show y'all these cute things that i got from amazon like workout gear but look amazon am i ordering from the wrong amazon like what i just broke it out of the pack yesterday this is my first time wearing it the jacket is super cute the jacket is really cute um and the top is really cute i wish i would have got it in a smaller size because it's not like really sucking the boobs in um but yeah it's it's really good but what's going on right now and then we ate lunch when we got home but what's going on right now is we're about to get our carpets clean so this is my office i be forgetting how big this room is but this is the office the baby moved all the stuff out while we were gone and then transferred our stuff in here look at y'all niece and nephew so this is stuff from our bedroom stuff from the office it just looks like so much stuff it's is low-key giving me anxiety honestly um and then we moved our dresser Sorry. out of the room i oh, know you're fine you baby i was about to say say hands <laughs> this baby been in here working hard i told her not to move all this stuff by herself and she wanted to anyway so we moved our dresser out of here the dog beds are getting washed and cleaned um took the mattresses and box spring out so that way he can like step in here and clean the carpet so we didn't have to move the whole bed out but yeah highly 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 recommend getting your carpets clean if you have dogs once or twice a year you you need to be getting your carpets clean if you're wondering why you keep cleaning your house and it just smell like dog your dogs are literally laying on your carpet breathing on your carpet licking your carpet farting on your clock carpet and if you have a puppy probably shitting on your carpet and dogs throw up all the time like you need to be getting your carpets cleaned but yeah very much so we'll be good and fresh we love that baby how you feel how's your day going how, how's your friday busy, child. i'm trying to tell you because putting all this stuff back too gotta have the energy to put all of it back but we definitely are going to get it done yeah for sure for sure with my with my teammate i don't know if y'all remember all those lights and um what is it dream catcher that was up there i was like just over it we've had them since we moved to texas not just in this house but in our old house um and i was just over it so we have rgb lights um what is it under the tv stand and around our tv that's mounted in the living room and she wanted them on the wall I think that the RGB lights should be like inconspicuous. Like you should just be seeing them glowing, but not necessarily see the strip. Well, like I was. wouldn't want to stick the strip on the walls or even have it on there. Cause you got to think how th like, it's like this thick. It just, I don't think it would work out like that. The other lights, they were on wires. So that's why it was so like easy to just do it like that. But I don't think it's going to vibe out how you think it's going to vibe out. Love you. Mm, I want to relax. We have plenty of work to do. There's no time to relax. Sorry, sugar. Well, I mean, right now, not really. I guess I'll do some editing. Since my computer, it would be more convenient for me to do my schoolwork when I have my two screens. So I could probably. Right. They vibing. Now he said, what's up? Did you see that? <laughs> he be doing that. I'll catch him doing it. He be like, what's up? What's up, Paula? But yeah, this is just going to be a... <laughs> you excited? Look at look at how the settings change. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. Like, in how it looks? It's dark in here. Yeah. It so good. good. Shout out to oh Peyton. Gosh, I love camera? this camera. Aww. I'm keeping this camera. You keeping it? Absolutely. Even yeah. when I get a new one, I'm keeping it. Dang, not satisfied. Not not satisfied. Your Canon is still good. I want a Tesla camera. Tesla camera. I don't know. I just made it <laughs> up.
Love you. Love T -T -Y -L, world. <laughs> oh, we y'all. But no, that psycho bar class was so good. So basically, I believe this vlog, honestly, is just going to be this weekend. Um, we were supposed to go on a double date tonight, but that got canceled. So we won't be doing that. But that's okay because, I mean, we had a lot of work to do anyway. Um, what else this weekend? I want to just really reset, um, get my week planned out because now that I'm getting into the groove of school, it's like, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling more confident in being able to handle, um, staying on a lot of things. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. And what are we doing tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow's date night. Mm tomorrow's date night so that's gonna be fun and then on sunday like i said just restart or reset um plan out the week i have a digital planner loaded on my ipad so we're gonna tap into that oh also 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 where is it i think it's in the closet i bought something that i have been meaning to purchase for a very very long time and that is a daily devotional. Um, I honestly didn't know which one to buy. I've asked like a couple people, um, like friends and um, family members, the ones that I see post their daily devotionals or whatever, um, just to see, you know, what they recommend. Because honestly, um, even though, you know, I have my own... I guess personal relationship with God and pray and talk to him and you know show gratitude and thankful but I also want to start getting into the word a little bit and just but not like fully diving into and committing to reading the full entire bible I feel like starting off with a daily devotional is the way to go well for me it seems like the way to go um and it's a good way to easily incorporate a new habit into my routine so because I don't want to say oh I'm gonna start reading the bible and don't start reading the bible so yeah I felt like that that was gonna be good and I'm excited for it y'all look e <laughs> this is actually kind of cute being in here let me move this this is actually a good spot to put a mirror, but these shoe boxes make it very much so ugly in here. Oh, let me show y'all this full set. Even though, even though, even though the leggings ripped on me, so I know not to buy from them again. Or maybe I should just stop being cheap and get some actual athletic wear that I know is going to last me a long time and I'll get my money's worth. Um, but it was just a cute little brown two-piece set. Mm-hmm. And this jacket is not a part of the set. It's just really cute. It's kind of like a beige pinky type deal. I'll have, I'll have the jacket link below. This set, don't buy it. It will not be linked below because clearly first time wearing it today. And yeah this happened <laughs> but um yeah i'll have the jacket link below and i also got um a black jacket like this it has the thumb no thumb holes it's really cute really stretchy really breathable um i really love it but i'll have to try out the other pieces before i tell y'all to just go buy them because baby no well, this looks cute we gonna be working all this out. We are gonna be working all this out. I'm so happy that I have gotten back active. Ooh, I love that for me. I love that for me. And also as just a word of motivation or a word of reassurance and motivation, if y'all have not started working out yet and you know, it was your goal to do something, just be reminded that it's still winter. We, depending on where you live at, it's probably very much giving winter but we live in texas and it's starting to warm up some days like we still get kind of cold at nighttime um but it's been starting to let me get y'all out the mirror and get y'all back on me <laughs> um 
it's been starting to warm up outside and it's starting to feel like spring and one thing that i have noticed about myself is that seasonal depression i know that's not valid for everyone um it's not a thing for everyone but it most definitely is a thing for me so um starting new stuff at the top of the year isn't always the i wouldn't say always the best for me but it just don't always work out the way i want to and also especially if i like try to do too much at the top of the year i always just it just don't work so now that we are getting into these warmer months and it's about to be spring sorry y'all and it's about to be spring it's time to spring into those new habits um don't overwhelm yourself do not be too hard on yourself give yourself grace for where you are but also find a balance in between giving yourself grace and um not letting yourself slack off and so by me accepting the fact that you know going back to school full-time is basically a full-time job um i have to give myself grace in the fact that you can't just jump into all these new habits when you have this new big thing on you so now that i'm getting under control with school getting into a good flow and rhythm i can work back in getting physical getting active and staying consistent with my content so this is just a reminder to be gentle with yourself if you did not start off the year how you wanted to and i feel like i said this in my last vlog but i'm gonna keep saying it because somebody needs to hear it somebody feels very discouraged right now and somebody feels like that they are not on their shit baby you you can be on your shit you can start being on your shit now don't worry about what you have not done it's about to be march 1st you're about to start a new month let's get it okay this memory card is running out of storage but i'm gonna edit for a while and then i will see y'all later Carpets are so fresh, so clean. Oh, it smells so good in here. We washed the comforter set, all that good jazz. The dogs' beds are washing now. All of that stuff that was there is moved. The dog beds are still getting tended to. I was working and editing, huh? Yeah. We got the stairs done. And then my office. Yes, so good. So good. What's going on, y'all? Baby, how'd you find that carpet cleaning company? Cause it's so good for the office, for the stairs and our bedroom. It was only like 120 something, but we added, um, we added an enzyme cleaner for the carpet because we have dogs and that kills like the dander or whatever and that was like an extra 20 so it was 150 mm -hmm. that's including tax like what and then when we came i know when he came last year he did all the rooms upstairs and our bedroom and the office and that was what 300 or two something almost 300 it was probably three almost four, maybe. yeah three something that's really good i don't know if y'all get y'all carpets clean like i said before y'all need to get your carpets clean if y'all have pets but um yeah that's actually really good so super happy about that super happy about that too bad the doggies can't be on 
any of the carpet until tomorrow. 24 hour dry. But all right, back to editing. Talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, so it is later. Um, we ended up, what, folding all the laundry that we had washing while we were waiting for the carpet guy to come. And then um, while he was here, so the dogs, beds. Well, I already showed y'all. I think y'all already saw this back on here, yeah. But the comforter is still like a teensy, teensy went damp. So I didn't put any of the pillows or the throw back on there. The dogs' beds and blankies are fresh. Um, I <laughs> am also fresh because I just got out of the shower. I exfoliated my body, you know, body oil, all that fun stuff. Put on a little fragrance, put on this nice little skins dress mm. nothing like looking sexy and just feeling comfortable and feeling good in your own home like yes but now i was just um while i was folding laundry and like showering and all that stuff i was um watching a vlog i was watching chelsea um and now we are about to go cook dinner baby is in there watching a movie she took a shower first normally if we're taking showers back to back she just go ahead and take a shower first because she doesn't do half the things that i do and she always takes like not that much time and i normally take a lot of time um but i'm about to go cook dinner i was gonna vlog while i was doing it but baby that um the movie that she's watching it sounds like an action movie. And baby, the sound bar, the sound bar and the subwoofer is subwoofering. And I don't want to interrupt her. Um, you know, just be considerate and ask her to turn it down while I'm vlogging. So y'all will just see me after I'm done cooking. Cause I'm sure it'll be faster. I don't know. If I decide to do a little montage, then I will. But I don't know, I be sometimes I'll be feeling like I'll be having too many montages and it'd be too long. What do y'all think? Do y'all enjoy that? Like, does that do not matter? Because I love making them and I love filming them. But if it's boring, let me know down in the comments. If you like it, cool. If you don't, cool. Just let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all after I cook.
it is the next day so happy saturday um well of course whatever day this is that you're watching but it's saturday morning it's about 7 45 a.m i just rolled out of bed so please excuse the way i'm appearing on this internet right now i'm dusty crusty dry dehydrated <laughs> um bright on this camera where's the melanin where's the melanin there we go um <laughs> i just wanted to um come out here and you know just get some fresh air start my day off i showed y'all this devotional that i just got i wanted to go ahead and start it but something just told me to you know come outside i was gonna go upstairs in my art room and you know just sit on the floor and do it but some just said come outside get a breath of fresh air so that's what i'm doing basically this devotional it's um 365 devotions of peace in the presence of god and um you just take it one page at a time so obviously it's not january 1st but it's okay we can start now i didn't come back on the vlog last night but the food was really good we watched the mia culpa movie on netflix <laughs> mm. 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 on a scale of one to ten honestly mm. i think i'm gonna give it a six in between a five and a half and a six I think I might give it a six. Y'all watch that movie and let me know what y'all think. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this word of the day. And yeah, I'll just talk to y'all in a little bit. Hello, my beautiful people. It is obviously several hours later, as you can see. The sun is getting ready to go down, but I just finished getting dressed. I think I told y'all yesterday that tonight was day night. So if y'all remember, like I think a month ago, well, almost two months ago now, or maybe like a month and a half ago, um, we went on our first day, date night of the year and baby picked out that place. So tonight was my night to pick out our date night. So we're going to this um, Japanese sushi restaurant. Y'all know we love sushi. Um, and then afterwards we're going to this event called Brown Sugar and it is basically like a R&B hip hop night. But if y'all have watched the movie Brown Sugar with Sanaa Lathan and baby, who's the man that you, oh, Tay, not, uh, Tay Diggs, right? Yeah. Tay Diggs, Sanaa Lathan and Tay Diggs. Um, if y'all seen that movie, then y'all know what type of vibe and, you know, element that the movie or that the event is going to be giving. And if you haven't seen that movie do y'all what i did not show y'all or come back to y'all on the vlog because and y'all know i was doing homework this morning um and then i was editing and then i was on the phone and then i filmed a real well i'm still filming like a real i guess not really a real because i don't know if it's gonna go on instagram but tiktok and here will definitely see it um just a date night get ready with me and i'm getting ready to film the last portion right now but i just wanted to show y'all how the face is sitting and that outfit okay snatch this material is so thick this um i guess bodysuit cat suit is from fashion over fashion over fashion nova very much so good thick material so i'm not worried about this like loosening up throughout the night it doesn't feel like really cheap at all it doesn't feel as cheap as what it actually was <laughs> and then i'm wearing these like little short uh sandals from steve madden i love these because i can wear these for a long time you know do a little one too and my feet are not hurting so we love that and then also my purse is y'all seen this purse so many times but this is a little leather bag that i got from aldo i want to say like two or three years ago but i have this little satin headscarf and honestly i should have wrapped this a little bit better i might in the car um that i just wanted to wrap around this just to give it a little more of a this might be expensive but it's really not i just you know just trying something new see just to add a little pop of color because i know the uniform 
is black. But I'm also gonna bring a jacket. Then this is baby's fit. Mm -hmm. Looking nummy, nummy. Okay, baby, I, I really love this fit on you. And you're right, those shoes are so much better than the G Fazos. Thank you, baby. You look good. I'm just trying to compliment you, my queen. You know what I mean? <laughs> ain't nothing but a chicken wing, but that ain't what we eat. You feel me? Oh, and, and got the bars. Whatever's clever. And got the bars. <laughs> but okay, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and um, film the last part of my little reel and my little short, and then we headed out for date night. Before we go, we are stopping by our neighbor's house because it's her birthday. So we just wanted to drop off something really quickly um, before we head out, and then, you know, just get into the night. So. Content is complete and are we ready to step out? I'm be vlogging on my phone for the rest of the night because maybe I'm not risking this new lens. So let's go. So we are toasting to beautiful day night. I love you, baby. I love you so much and I'm just so happy to be able to spend everything with you. Cheers to us. Cheers to us. things I've got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how, cause there's a possibility that you look at me differently, love, ever since the first moment I spoke your name, from then on I knew that by you being in my life, Sunday, beautiful people. This is the next day, Sunday afternoon. Just what what have I been doing for the start of the day? Pretty much lazy love all day. Me and my baby been laid up date night. Chef's kiss. <laughs> but um, it was so good. The restaurant that we went to, um, it was a um, new Japanese. Well, it wasn't new, but it was new to us. A Japanese little cute little spot. Japanese little cute little spot for sushi. Their sushi was super good. Um, our waitress was super sweet. When I first walked in there, I didn't know how the service was going to be. But it turned out to be really, really good. I knew the sushi was going to be good, but I just didn't know how the service was going to be. But it was super good, so we enjoyed that. And then afterwards, like I told y'all, we went to this brown sugar event. It was pretty dead. Um, so we left kind of early. We stayed there for a little while, left kind of early. But we came back because... Um, like I told y'all, it was my neighbor's birthday, so she invited us over. But anywho, I don't think we came back home till about like two. Well, we came home, let the dogs out, and then, you know, went back over there. But so we just been laying in the bed all day. I just got out the shower, um, changed into some athletic wear. So this came with that set that I just wore to the cycle bar class. I figured I'd turn this into a home set because clearly I can't depend on this brand 
to be how you say it is gym friendly to not rip on me <laughs> so i just decided to put it on because it seemed super comfortable um did some skincare oh excuse you burpy little girl <laughs> did some skincare got these eye patches on i really you know i have not ever normally seen like a really dramatic difference um with eye patches but i don't know some, something about these it's Skimming quality. But we're pretty much having like a Sunday reset afternoon. Um, we're gonna order some food. Um, Cause I can't be bothered to cook, I'm sorry. Um, house is clean, smelling good. Baby, how was, how was date night, baby? Date night, it was beautiful. Date night was so good. It was. I was like, oh. Oh. Um, but yeah, so we're just having like Sunday reset house, um, you know, looking clean and speaking span in here. Um, finally got out the bed and made the bed because we literally been in the bed all day. Um, what time is it? Where's my cellular device? Baby is waiting on me. I wanted to come in here and grab my iPad real quick before we went in the living room to wait on our food because i need to plan my week out um i don't know if i told y'all that i downloaded a digital planner from pinterest um because i really need to get organized um since i'm like getting into getting back in the groove school i know y'all so tired of hearing me say that i'm so sorry for repeating myself all the time but um since i'm getting back in the groove of school i definitely need to like plan out my days like having a plan is really going to help me stay on track for the content that I want to make. You know what I'm saying? So that'll help me, that'll help me balance out the time that I'm spending doing schoolwork and creating content. So that's what we about to do while we wait on our food. I think I'm in love again. Da -da -da. Thank you very much. Oh, we watched the Mia Culpa movie. Wait, was I vlogging the night that we watched the Mia Culpa movie? Um, that was on Friday, right? I was vlogging Friday because that was when y'all saw me go to the cycle bar class. I don't know if I told y'all that we was watching the Mia Culpa movie, but I know y'all had already seen this movie getting dragged all over social media. So I don't feel bad talking about it because it's not going to be spoiled because I know social media probably didn't already spoiled it for y'all. Child, <laughs> Kelly Rowland was really pissing me off. It was giving girl. <laughs> no, for real. It was giving temptation. It it was like a mix of temptation and what was the other movie I said? Um Addicted. Yeah, Addicted and Temptation. Like in the beginning, I was sold. I was it was good. I was sold, but as the movie kept going, it just kept getting stupider and stupider. Um, but Kelly Rowland looks great. She looks so good. That's what I can say. Um, but other than that, yeah. Y'all can watch if y'all just want something to watch, have something to watch. Um, I was pretty much talking to the screen the entire time. I know Baby was probably annoyed with me <laughs> because I had commentary the whole entire movie. Because it was just, I just really was like, Why? why but um but yeah let me crack open my digital planner um i'm starting a new term this week for school so i just want to start off on the right foot and also um make sure that i am staying up to date i'm really just challenging myself to stay uh stay with the routine keep my workouts going um continue to create content and do my school work so let it do it Straight forward, eyes on the crime and I decide 
no man at the climbing Burning bitches in my third trimester Shit ties, they tell me you lying Don't care, just lay up beside me Hate time, chasing the real